What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on them like notifications. Let's keep getting this channel up and going. All right, folks. With that said, let's get right into it. A thousand HP media tonight may have revealed a huge Easter egg and not even realized it, folks, in regards to Mr. Organic's Lamborghini Aventador raffle um, and the car itself. Um, a lot of people were focusing on the fact that an Antonio Gaywood account has now surfaced. Uh, he was the main winner of the Lamborghini Aventador raffle. If you don't know, there's just been a ton of controversy surrounding that. Um, I go into it in one of my other videos in regards to his raffle and keeping it real. Make sure you check that video out. Uh, but a lot of controversy in no social media presence of the, of the winners. The names all put together didn't sound right. Um, if you go back to elementary school, middle school, put the names together. You know exactly where I'm going with that. Uh, but a lot of people, you know, even talking about his reactions, he, even his own followers, when they ask him questions about it, the way he goes off about it. A lot of things didn't add up, folks. Of course, I made a video about it. I'm still kind of 50-50 on the fence with it. Some things didn't seem right, but I, I did put it out there just to keep things real. Um, and this right here, folks, one of my things I brought up in my video was where's the car that the car basically couldn't be driven anymore because if it was owned by the original person in Texas or anybody from Mr. Organic's camp or Organic himself, it would be found out. Ice Cream Vlogs and them have so many eyes out in Texas, Las Vegas, California, looking for this car that as soon as it surfaced, somebody would get the tag number and it would immediately be traced like they do in their videos. Um, and this is a unique Aventador, guys. It's got a body kit on it, different hood, that sort of thing. So, I mean, it couldn't just be wrapped at reflections or painted or whatever and then you know brought back out and redriven i mean this this car would be noticed and other than actually trading it in behind the scenes there was no real way to get rid of the car without there being a, a legitimate winner but i think we might have found the way that this car is going to make its appearance again or at least be accounted for if it is found folks and that is thousand hp media you know showing this uh antonio gaywood comment and account of course the red flags no subscribers no views um but here was the thing, other than the language, you know, used by Mr. Organic and his followers in the paragraph and all, look at this up here, the thanks for the hundred racks. Um, if you don't know, of course, the winner of the raffle got to choose between a Lamborghini Aventador and a hundred thousand dollars. And of course, Ice Cream Vlogs and then made a bunch of con content about why would somebody take a hundred thousand dollars over a two to three hundred thousand dollar car? Well, that's easy, guys. Taxes. You know, $100,000 can change people's lives. A lot of people may not have the money to register a car and pay the taxes on a two, dollars $300,000 car, much less the personal property taxes. And in a lot of areas, if you own the car for one day, you pay an entire year's tax on it. So taking $100,000 would definitely change my life as well as others, you know. So, I mean, sometimes that may have been the easier way or the, at least the better way out for whoever won the raffle, guys. But just... Pay attention, folks. That's an upcoming Easter egg of what may be upcoming with the car, folks. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, folks. We'll be back with another video soon. Thank you.